Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog, where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. And of course, those will be shorts in there. And of course, community posts from time to time. But nonetheless, guys, thank you across all of New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, for your guys' continued support. We start things off from Entertainment Weekly. Don Lemon says Elon Musk canceled his planned show on X after tense interview. It was hardly tense at all. Elon Musk is mad at me, the former CNN anchor said in a video posted to Instagram. It's interesting, is it not, just the attitude, the dispositions of these individuals and the hyperbolic, exaggerated, sensationalized language they use. And we're going to get into that here momentarily. Former CNN anchor Don Lemon has announced the end of his partnership with ex-owner Elon Musk. The TV personality was days away from launching the Don Lemon Show, a new program to be released on the social media platform. When Musk pulled the plug in a statement on X, Lemon revealed that he was informed of the decision just hours after filming a tense interview with Musk for the show. Now, I want you guys to emphasize, I want you guys to think about, one, the fact that Don Lemon thinks he's a victim. Two, the fact that they keep saying tense here, and we'll go into other language, but obviously... It is the, well, the best way to describe it is the arrogance, right? The haughty attitude that a lot of these media agencies have because, in my opinion, as we talked about here on the channel, is they want to be back in control. You know, back in the day, if you, many of you may remember in the maybe some of the, the 60s, the 70s, and 80s, where we just basically had three major stations, ABC, CBS, and uh, ABC. Did I mention that? ABC, CBS, ABC. And then maybe a local channel and some and some other local type channels, but they miss those days of being in control. And I think we're seeing a lot of the problems because they use the narrative and the establishment uniparty, the government, for example, the deep state and so forth, but just government in general, uses the media also as part of their narrative pushing. And of course the media complies because of course they get their you know, they get support from the federal government when it comes to interviews or when it comes to subsidies, when it comes to tax breaks, when it comes to all these sorts of things that benefit them, which is understandable, which is why the establishment needed to get Donald Trump out of the way so that they could get back into those contracts, back into those uh, luxuries and privileges that they used to have. But I find it fascinating because they keep saying all this uh, hyperbolic language. I'm going to move over here to Fox News, which is interesting because they're using the same similar language. Musk snaps at Don Lemon over questions about hate speech on X. Don't have to answer questions from reporters. I get criticized constantly. I could care less, Musk told Lemon. And here's the thing. When it comes to these individuals, these types of individuals, uh, whether it's Elon Musk, whether it's um, Charles Branson. Is it Branson? The, the Richard, Richard Branson, right, out of, out of the U.K. Whether it's Donald Trump, whether it's the Koch brothers, whether it's any very powerful or rich people, right, they do a lot of things that add value to their daily life, right? So they're going about their life. They're trying to find value in everything that they do. So they don't like their time being wasted. Wasted. They don't like being insulted. They don't like being cross-examined by reporters who say they're asking the hard questions. No, in this, you'll see, one, uh, Elon isn't um, snapping. He's probably irritated and annoyed that his time is being wasted. That, that he's being asked questions in a manipulative, coercive way, which is what the media does. The media doesn't just ask these types of individuals questions. They, they do like a sidewalk jury on them, right? The jury of public opinion on them. And so what happens here is Lemon is just trying to, you know, it's funny because Lemon is going to be, Lemon was going to be on his ex program and he basically fired himself because of the absurdity of what he was saying. So I want you guys to listen to this speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that? I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you on the platform you know, it, it, is up. In other words, it's like Musk was saying, look, I gave you an opportunity to be on this platform. I'm answering your questions because you want to be part of the platform. 
And all you can do is bring your narrative pushing, ideology, philosophy, identitarianism, IDE mindset, CRT mindset, leftist mindset by asking me more questions that I've been asked many times over as though asking these questions over and over again is somehow going to create a different answer or asking them over and over again to appease their base, to appease the left, to appease the progressive, to appease the establishment uniparty. You see what's going on here? They take every opportunity to try to disparage, manipulate, and be condescending towards people because it's their nature. Do you ever see these types of questions being asked to say someone like Joe Biden or Clinton or Obama or Michelle Obama or Hillary Clinton? You very rarely see them ask very tough questions. Now, every once in a while, they'll slip in a zinger just to kind of appease the individuals like myself that are clearly seeing softball questions being asked. And then they have to throw these little zingers in there, but they always give them a backdoor exit. With Elon Musk, so be, you know Elon Musk owns X, so he doesn't have to explain himself how he conducts his business. You know he's 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 running a business. He's not there to appease and entertain individuals because people are adults, or they should be adults, and they should be able to manage themselves. And so here's Lemon just basically cross-examining him. They're not questions. He's cross-examining them, saying. In my philosophical attitude, in my philosophical ideological worldview, this is happening and that is happening. How do you respond to that? It's, it's absurd. He's answered these questions many times over again. And so, if anything, I would say Elon is just irritated that his time is being wasted and the fact that he was going to give Lemon an opportunity on his platform. And then what does Lemon do? He turns it into an opportunity for the left. He turns it into an opportunity for him to cross-examine Elon, gives him an opportunity to kick Elon in the teeth, and then complain, <laughs> and then complain that the dog bit him that he was trying to feed, right? It's absolutely ridiculous that this is going on. It's, it's, it's amazing. And not only that, they, they mock him for SpaceX. And I'm not an engineer. My father is an aerospace engineer, and it, you know, very good at math, very good at these types of calculations, very amazing things that these people can do, but... I mean, landing these, creating these rockets to perform certain things, to take off and perform certain stages and, and do these procedures and, 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 and execute all the different things that they have to do with no one on board, right? It's all, it's all computer-based. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's not easy. It's very complex. But it is an example of the human condition, the human mindset, thinking that we can be in control of our environment, thinking that we're the ones who are in control, and we're really not, you know? As a believer, I know that the Lord and God is all working to keep this universe together, and they're the ones who know when things are going to happen, the way they're going to happen, the way they're supposed to happen, but we entertain, our, we entertain ourselves as human beings. But uh, not to get off the topic here, not to bury the lead, but so they go after SpaceX for this rocket. Now, it had, it, uh, you know, so SpaceX Starship reaches new heights and monumental test flight, but lost on reentry. So... Basically, he's trying to make a rocket that can return, right? A rocket that can take off and then return on its own. That's amazing, right? Because I want to show you this video here. So here's here's the Japanese trying to do the same thing. Now these aren't dumb people, right? These these are the like the best engineers, top qualified minds in science and in rocketry and in space and in, in all these things. And and you see, they do their very best. So let's just watch then. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Think about the amount of money. Think about the amount of time. Think about all the calculations that they made. And in seven seconds, what did reality do? Go, no. This is reality. And it's difficult to overcome. You know, I mean, everybody goes through the life with, with trouble, right? We have good days, bad days, and other days. And so we're constantly dealing with nature. We're constantly dealing with reality. And so we try to control so much of it. But the thing here is you have Elon Musk giving someone an opportunity and then that person seizes that opportunity to talk about themselves and make it about themselves. And this is the way the media operates, sadly. This is why the establishment likes using them because they know their arrogance. They know their narcissism. They know their sense of self-importance. And they can help 
produce this message by kind of holding them on the leash and the carrot on the stick, just like when they persecute Donald Trump and the persecutions that he go through. But it's amazing. I welcome your thoughts down in the comments section about what you think about what all is going on. It's 2024. We knew it was going to be wild, but I always welcome your guys' thoughts on these things that are going on with when it comes to um, you know our political and current events. But nonetheless, guys, that's what I had for you this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, so I encourage you guys to follow me there. And if you are an Amazon Prime member or order frequently from Amazon, I have links down below that help out the channel. If you're interested in a VPN, a virtual private network, I also have Trust Zone down there, which is one of my favorites. And, of course, your likes and shares all help out the channel, so it's greatly appreciated, along with comments. And, of course, uh, appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys behind the Galaxy phone camera next week.